hello there. How are you today? It's good to be with you. Thank you, Black Girl Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was, I was, I'm very excited to talk to you because I'm a fan of a body of your work. I was into Lost and oh, now wow. as recent as seeing you on Insecure. And uh-huh. then now here we are with Love in the Time of Corona. And you represent for so many of our, our seniors right now who have to be isolated, mm-hmm. not by their own doing, but just because of these circumstances how would how would you are there any similarities to your own experience to your own current quarantining experience to what your character is portraying have you been able to be with family or have you had to isolate your yourself for whatever reason uh i think um regarding the quarantine of me personally and how it relates to my storyline it's um very similar uh, in that uh, I personally was quarantining alone. I live alone, except with my dog, Sunny Stip. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was a natural for me Mm -hmm. uh, that I didn't have anybody to quarantine with. So they actually, the writer, producer, director of the show had to adjust my storyline a little bit because um, all of the other characters with other storylines were in fact quarantining together. Mm -hmm. So because I was alone, uh, a lot of my story got sort of reshaped a little bit. And uh, I was able to invite someone in that was an actor that is my godson that uh, is playing my second son in this. So it shifted a little bit when we were able to bring him into uh, the party. But before that, it was just me alone. So uh, that's exactly how it is in the storyline. Does it change your preparation? when the story is so closely mirroring your own current existence, does it change at all how you approach it as an actor? Uh, Well, the thing about uh, acting in a uh, story like this is that it's actually hybrid storytelling in that it's almost like a reality show Mm -hmm. with a script. You know, so uh, a lot of what we're going to see in the story uh, is going to reflect who I am as a person because I'm obviously in my own home. So you're going to behave very differently in a surrounding that you breathe in every day. Mm-hmm. I wear my own clothes uh, for the most part. And so that's a another element of, you know, being in my own skin. But the character, though she has a different name, this happens in acting, period, that the actor is not becoming a character. The actor is themselves making the character's choices, if that makes any sense. So in that regard, this is exactly how acting works anyway. You know, you bring yourself 100% to the role that you're playing and you're relying on the writer to tell you how you are navigating through their story. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Queen. I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing the rest of the episode. <laughs> Take care. Thanks. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.